This is video 4C, and in a previous video, we were discussing arpeggiation, and I actually included a little movement that I did not explain, so I wanted to go back today and just take a moment or two and explain what it was that I did in case you caught it. That way you could um, decide if it's something that you would like to include for your playing or not. Uh, so we were talking about arpeggiation and just taking the notes of the B-flat chord and working them. And uh, it occurred just after the G minor chord, so at just a closer walk we started with just a close right there. And we did that little arpeggiation right here. turn occurred right here where I moved my uh, index finger to C natural and then took my third finger up to C sharp and then I just graced down using my same third finger from the C sharp to the D natural and then I took my fourth finger and placed it on the E flat and then I used that same finger to just grace up to the E natural and then I ended with my pinky on F natural. So it just moves chromatically in half steps upward. And it occurs very quickly. You almost just wouldn't hear it unless it's pronounced. So just keep practicing that and getting those fingers accustomed to those movements. So you use that same finger to press two notes, and then another finger, another two notes, and then end on your pinky on F natural. And just keep working that until you get more fluid, a little quicker with your movements and your fingers. Just ascending chromatic half steps is what they're called. Eventually, it will get like this. Okay, and I'll show you now in context where that occurred. Just a uh, close. Let's listen to it one time, in real time. Again. One more at real time. Okay, you try it. Let's slow it down a little bit. One. Two, three, just. Okay. Just keep practicing that movement today, and it will sound like this as you get more quick with your movements. Back again. Remember that from the demo? Very first video. So use
use the power of rewind and go back and review and just keep practicing and work up your tempo and your dexterity in your finger movements. As always, this is just merely a way to look at just a closer walk with the video 4C um, using that little right hand um, arpeggiation with the chromatic half steps in the turn. And uh, welcome any questions and suggestions. Pianoryland at gmail.com. And see you in the next video.